the Buffalo crime family has been a powerful force in the city for decades. From their powerful leaders to their criminal activities, they have left a lasting impression on the city and its inhabitants. But how much do you really know about the Buffalo crime family? This video will uncover their secrets and explore the history of the stress they gave to the NYPD during their peak era. Buffalo Crime Family There is an Italian-American mob family in Buffalo, New York known as the Buffalo Crime Family. This gang is a major player in the East Coast criminal underworld. They have said to have been a component of the New York State Mafia since the early 20th century. John the Big Cheese Licata, the current leader, has been at the helm of the company since 2008. Extortion, drug trafficking, money laundering, and bribery are just some of the unlawful actions associated with the Buffalo crime family. In addition, the family has ties to some of New York's most notorious gangsters, including the late John Gotti. If you're going up against the Buffalo crime family, you're going to need to be prepared to fight. We will fight. If you're interested in learning more about the Buffalo crime family's loan sharking business, keep watching this video. We'll be discussing their methods of operation, the people involved, and the consequences of not paying back their loans. You don't want to miss it. Cocaine Pipeline The Buffalo crime family was also known as the Magadino crime family. The New York Police Department experienced a great amount of disruption and stress as a direct result of the Buffalo crime family's heavy involvement in the cocaine trade during the 1980s. The Buffalo crime family commanded a substantial amount of influence in the local cocaine market, and they made effective use of this influence to exert their will over the cocaine trade across the area. It was common knowledge that the Buffalo crime family was vicious and unrelenting. As a result, they often harassed and threatened anybody who stood in their way. In response, the New York Police Department upped its attempts to clamp down on the cocaine trade. Yet, the Buffalo crime family was able to avoid detection for a number of years despite these enhanced efforts. Wonderful. Great effort. As a direct result of investigations, 24 persons were taken into custody. More than 5 kilos of cocaine was recovered, and the cocaine pipeline that ran from Las Vegas to Buffalo was disrupted. Loan Sharking The New York Police Department had been under a significant amount of pressure as a result of the Buffalo crime family. The family has a significant presence in the business of loan sharking, which refers to the act of obtaining loans at exorbitant interest rates from unsavory lenders. People who borrow money from loan sharks sometimes have to deal with extraordinarily high rates of interest, which makes it very challenging for them to pay back the money they borrow. In order to guarantee that their clients comply with their demands, loan sharks may sometimes resort to violence or intimidating behavior. The citizens of Buffalo and the New York Police Department, both of which are forced to cope with the repercussions of the criminal family's operations, have been naturally thrown into a state of tremendous disquiet and anxiety as a result of this development. It has been a disquieting development. If you're intrigued by the Buffalo crime family's violent and mysterious past, keep watching to find out more. We'll be uncovering the truth of the family's deadliest murders and taking an in-depth look at the evidence. Keep watching to find out more. Gambling The Buffalo crime family has been an ongoing problem for the NYPD. The criminal family has engaged in illicit enterprises such as gambling and selling drugs for decades. Although the criminal family's participation in illegal operations is widespread, it has proven notably troublesome to the Buffalo, New York police. The Buffalo crime family is notorious for resorting to extreme measures, such as physical violence and threats of death in order to keep control over Buffalo's criminal underground. When it comes to eliminating the Buffalo crime family, the New York police department has made it a top priority. Concern about the Buffalo crime family and their participation in gambling and drug trafficking has plagued the New York Police Department for some time. That's all you talk about is gambling, gambling, gambling. Extortion The Buffalo crime family is one of the most infamous organized crime families in the United States. This family is deeply engaged in a wide range of criminal endeavors, including extortion and other unlawful pursuits. They have been known to demand fees and protection money from local persons and companies which has earned them a bad reputation. Since of this, the police department is under a significant amount of pressure because they must work tirelessly to suppress the criminal family's illicit operations and maintain order inside the organization. The Buffalo crime family is a source of ongoing frustration for the Buffalo police department, which is something that they have had to contend with for a significant amount of time. Murder. In recent years, the Buffalo crime family has been a significant contributor to the level of tension experienced by the New York Police Department. 
This organized criminal family has been linked to a number of homicides, in addition to other forms of violent crime, such as drug trafficking and racketeering. Even high-profile crimes, such as the murder of two Buffalo police officers in 2006, have been connected to the Buffalo crime family. Crime family. Because of the violence and illegal actions they engage in, this organized crime family has been a huge source of frustration for the police department. The Buffalo crime family has been a big contributor to the surge in violent crime in the region, and as a result, the police department has been placed under a significant amount of pressure as they work to maintain the city's safety and security. If you're intrigued by the mystery surrounding the disappearance of Jimmy Hoffa and want to learn more about the three possible leads in the investigation, then you should definitely check out our video on the subject. We've done extensive research and gathered first-hand accounts from the FBI agents involved in the case to bring you the most comprehensive look into the three leads. So, if you're looking for more criminal investigations to explore, this is one you don't want to miss.